Hey guys, what's up? Uh, it's Camera Mom Creates, and today we're gonna do one of my favorite projects, and that is the bleached flannel. So I'll show you how to go from this to something like this. And I have my favorite assistants here. Me, me, me. Well, Jimmy behind the camera. Timmy and Kimmy from the channel Jimmy, no. Timmy and Kimmy. I'm your favorite. She's the favorite one. Yes, much better. Anyway, I love all of my amazing children and they're gonna help me. Even the crazy dogs are gonna somehow help us. I don't know how. So what you need are flannels. My favorite flannels are the Walmart George brand flannels. Honestly, these hold up really well to the bleach. They don't break down. And if you buy them at the end of the season, like February, end of February, early March, cheap, 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 like, I don't know, four bucks I think I got this for. And they hold up so well. And you can see here, this is what happened after we bleached the area that I later put vinyl on. But you can see how it alters the color, which is really cool. And every flannel really reacts differently. And George flannels come in so many different colors it's amazing so this happens to be my favorite i'm a blue girl what are you guys having your own little party over there so that is what we're going to make today we're going to transform this blank one so here kimmy why don't you take this one kimmy's going to take this one for me and she's just going to lay it flat you want a very junky looking blanket or towel and she's going to lay it flat on there you can go lay it flat for me on there if you don't Isn't mind this one already bleached? no that one's not already bleached. Mm -hmm. And we're also going to bleach another one in a different style. So let me show you a couple that we have. This is one that I actually got from a thrift store. It's Quicksilver brand. I think it was maybe like three bucks. There's Kimmy crawling underneath me, um, which is cool because you can find these really neat brands. And what I did is I just bleached the bottom of this and the tips of the sleeves. So I'll show you how to do that too. So in order to do this, You'll need um, a bucket or a bowl, something that you tip, you won't eat out of. Make sure you don't eat out of. And everything I have, the proportion is three to one bleach to water. So this bowl is three quarters bleach, one quarter water. And this bottle is the same thing. So it's three quarter bleach, one quarter water. I like to use this Clorox splashless bleach for all of my projects. And I also have rubber bands here, which I'll show you something you can do with that. And very, very, very important, you have to have gloves. Um, fingers. Fingers to put in the gloves. You have to have so, hands. And hands, yeah, that's helpful. And gloves, more importantly. So let's start with the blue one that Kimmy put over there. Right, Kimmy? Oh yeah, I did. So I'm gonna put gloves on, obviously, because safety first, you don't wanna be, I don't even clean my house with bleach. I typically don't even use it in that fashion. But outside is where we uh, play with it. Put on your safety goggles, goggles, goggles safety everyone. goggles. Safety goggles. They have their safety. They're going to stay far away from this. I'm no, just going to go know. over and I'm going to spray it quickly for you. Well, we have safety goggles. So since this is one that I will probably apply vinyl to the back, I have it spread out. You want to make sure your shirt is unbuttoned. Otherwise, if it's closed, the bleach is going to go through to the front side. And you may or may not want that. If you want that, then by all means, do not spray your dog with bleach. Make sure they are out of the way. So here's my bottle. Again, three quarters bleach to a quarter water. And I'm just gonna really saturate the center portion where my vinyl is going to sit. And I just wanna make sure it's kind of drenched. I mean, you could see it changed immediately. It really changes quickly. And now I like to do it, even though my kids are melting right now, it's super, super hot out. Um, it's a great time to do it with the sun beating down on it. The sun has a, such a good effect on the bleaching process. It really makes it go quickly and you really get a cool result. And they're doing crazy stuff in the background. They think this is their channel, but it's It not. is our channel, Dom. Yeah. You can check them out. They're hilarious. But we're serious and focused on crafts. They're focused on comedy at Jimmy, Timmy, and Kimmy. So when I have this part, is you know, like I said, it's drenched. It's ready for my vinyl. And then I like to do the sleeves and stuff a little bit. So I do a little kind of spritz on those random spots, you know, just here and there, a little bit at the ends, a little here, some on the front. And I'm very non-specific with it because you know what? Everyone ends up to be completely different. You hear my assistants cannot be quiet. Look at them. They're just being, they're really not very helpful. Good baby, good baby. They're just being crazy in the background. Yeah. All right, Timmy and Kimmy for one minute, okay? So now I have sprayed this and 
it's not going to need a second coat or anything because look at it and it's got a cool little design to it looks really neat but i want to let it dry and get bleached out a little more so what i will typically do is i have my pool over there i have the railing i will typically hang my towel up and then i'll just hang my flannel out to dry usually about an hour and after that i bring it in the house i wash it by itself cold water with regular laundry detergent and then I just hang it to dry. So I'm gonna go do that right now. Okay, you don't wanna use your good pool towels. Obviously this one has been through the wringer quite a bit. I hang it and then I hang my flannel and I'll leave it there for about an hour. And then again, wash it, let it dry and it'll be done and you can wear it as is or you can apply vinyl, which is really cool. So now I'll come over here and I'll show you another technique. I still have my gloves on as you see and they're actually pretty clean, thank goodness. If you're going from one project to another and you don't want bleach in random spots, you may want to change gloves or wash them, but it's fine for this purpose. So I'm gonna take this one, which I have absolutely no idea how this will come out. This is a brand I just, I think I got it at Kohl's. It was on clearance. So I just got it to kind of experiment with. So here, what I like to do when doing the dipping is I will fold my shirt in half and I will decide at what level I want to bleach. Like maybe I want, you know, this much bleached. So the easiest thing to do is to take a rubber band, which I'm going to take the gloves off of this because it's too hard to manipulate. I'm going to take a rubber band and I'm going to kind of tie it off like so. And then I just know to bleach only up to that point. Now, just a little tip, something you can play with. You can use rubber bands like you would when you would tie dye shirts and you can kind of place them strategically along your shirt that you're going to dip if you want. We could do that now and see what happens. Why not, right? Yeah. Yeah. No. No? Yes, no. Now you may ask why I'm doing um, flannels when it's burning hot out. But again, like I said, the sun has a really great effect on it. And also, you know, a cold night at the beach can still warrant a flannel. I like throwing on a flannel with even jean shorts and a t-shirt on a cold night. So keep that in mind. I think flannels are very versatile. So we're gonna put some rubber bands on here. How far do we wanna bleach down the sleeves, guys? What do you think? Um, All the way? No, we're only gonna do a chicken nuggets. They're obsessed with saying chicken nuggets. Nobody eats chicken nuggets. They just like to say chicken nuggets. They're just peculiar children. Okay, so here, I like my sleeves to be pretty much even. Well, I think I got the sleeve in here, didn't I? No, let's leave that and see what happens. And this one I'm just gonna bleach to, I don't know, just bleach the end like that. I actually got the sleeve caught in my little twisty thing here, so we're gonna see what happens. Again, that's the cool thing about bleach, you never know what's gonna happen. No shirt ever looks identical to another one. So I'm gonna put my glove back on and we're gonna just dip. And it's stuck on my button right now. Take a dip in the pool. Take a dip in the pool. No, we don't dip them in the pool, that's for sure. We do not want to dip our shirts Let's in the pool. Let's go dip in the pool. They may get dipped in the pool because Maybe. it's really hot and disgusting. Is that what you guys are gonna do? Yep. They're gonna go jump in the pool with their clothes on. Okay, while I dip, they're gonna jump. Mm -mm. No, we're gonna dip. So I'm starting with my, nobody cares now. Then nobody's paying attention to my bleach shirt. She just jumped in in her clothes. <laughs> this is how filming goes. Yeah. For camera mom, this, this is what happens. Hmm. Fine. All right, so I'm taking my sleeve again. I'm dipping it up to. I'm doing it up to the rubber band. I'm just kind of dipping it in there, trying not to splatter myself or my dogs or anything else for that matter. Hopefully, you're neater than I am. I'm not no, known for my neatness. My dog just scared me. Kind of squeeze that out, and then come along here. And again, I don't care if it drips on here, because I'm probably going to take my spray bottle and probably spray a little bit too. And I just want to make sure it all gets drenched in the bleach up to my rubber band. And again, it's not perfect. That's the cool thing about it. Like it's never going to look, you're not, it's going to be perfect aligned. It's not going to be perfectly even. That's not really the point of this. So I'm going to leave this actually in the sun also. And we can come back and look at everything after I wash them and dry them. And you'll be able to see the finished products. So that will be really neat. I'm interested to see how this one turns out as well. 
So I will see you back in a little bit to see how our shirts turned out. So now for the final results of our bleaching and this is the shirt that was um, I believe from Kohl's and I had never used before. It's kind of a subtle difference. It's not really what I would necessarily hope for. It's still kind of cool but I don't necessarily love it and I do still love the George from Walmart so that would still be my go-to. This is the end result of our George. And what I like to do, see typically when I spray it this way in on the back and it's such a big white area, I like to use my Cricut to apply vinyl. Another option, if you do not have a Cricut machine, I have <gasps> seen, now either the kids are crazy or the dogs, it's one or the other. Um, I've seen people actually cut an image out of an old t-shirt and sew it on and gives it a kind of cool vintage vibe. Yes, Kimmy. Why did you name your shirt George? Listen, George, be a good boy and go over here. Because his name is George. Okay, and I'm just going to show you two more that I have done uh, in the past. This was another thrift store find. It was an it was Abercrombie cool. shirt, which literally would be how much in the store? A lot. So much more than I spent, like four bucks. And I just did the sleeves. And this I actually love because you can see what's revealed underneath is pretty cool. Very different from where it started. So I really love this shirt. It's one of my favorites. I didn't think it needed any design because it's just cool and grungy and comfortable and would look, if it weren't 300,000 degrees and outside, it would look cute with jean shorts. It's a nice hat. If we want to hide Kimmy. And this was one, actually, you know what? It's funny, I think this might be, this is actually the same brand as this other one that I didn't really like and this came out much better. Again, color, you just have to experiment. Don't buy anything expensive. I loved how this one came out and I actually put my monogram on the back. So this was kind of cool. But again, this is a fun project. You can go and do with your kids. Just be really careful. Make sure you have your gloves on. Make sure they don't touch any of the bleach or anything. And you get a really very, very cool yes, make sure shirt in the end. Too. So thanks so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and comment below if you want to see any other cool projects. Thank you.